I have never seen another YouTube video like this and it's about time that it was made. You see, I asked you for the details of your channel, the behind the scenes of how you are making money on YouTube and not just from YouTube ads. So in this video, we're gonna draw back the curtain so that you can see exactly how YouTubers are making their money this year. What's up channel makers, Julia and Nathan here. You, yes, you watching this are probably leaving a lot of money on the table. And not only that, but we found some pretty fun surprises along the way. Today we went in depth with the amount of data we gathered. You see the data set for this video is quite large, totaling about half a million monthly revenue as well as just under 63 million views. Uh, wait, how are the 63 million monthly views relevant to this video? Oh, they're not, they just sound impressive. Oh. So the very first interesting thing to me from real YouTubers data was I asked you for the primary three locations that you're making money from your YouTube channel. And interestingly, from this data source, 23 of you did not have a second income listed, meaning that 77 of the YouTubers who responded to this only had a single income source. And no, it was not just YouTube ads. And in addition, 48 didn't have a third income source, meaning that about half only have two income sources from their channel. And not only that, but in terms of ratio, primary, secondary, and thirdiary, I think we know a better way to say that. <laughs> In terms of averages, the secondary income source on these channels was half that of the primary income source. But not only that, the third income source was about half of what the secondary income source was. When averaged, it was really interesting to see this pattern emerge. But now we get into the actual monetization breakdowns of each type of income that YouTubers are making. And the first one is YouTube ads. And based on what we were seeing across all of the averages of the data, we decided to focus on the primary earning source of each type. YouTube ads count as the primary earning source across these channels 56% of the time, with an average monthly earning of 930 US dollars. With the range of earnings in this space being anywhere from $2 up to $20,000 a month. And just a little bit of a side note, as we went through this data, we had to convert the data from whatever currency it was in to US dollars until our fingers were practically bleeding trying to figure this out. But we eventually got a little smarter and we created a very smart dropdown on our Excel sheet so that we could do it much easier than before. That being said, it was really our pleasure because we're so happy to have an international audience of people from all around the world who are trying to make YouTube channels. The big surprising thing to me about this test was I was not expecting such a high ratio 56% of respondents had YouTube ads as their primary earning source. Now it almost goes without saying that all of these channels are gonna have at least some income from YouTube ads unless they literally have it turned off on their channel. Okay, now let me stop you right there. That's probably what a lot of you think, but the reality is we actually looked at the numbers. There were like 30% of these people were actually making hundreds of dollars a month from their channels even before they got YouTube ads. We have that video up, go check it out after this one. It's crazy, we'll put in a card up here. All right, let me show you where the next primary income source is. It's affiliate links. Now, affiliate links is where you put a link in the description of your video and say, hey, I love this product, I use this product, go check it out, it's really awesome. And by using my affiliate link, I'm gonna get a cut of that sale so you're supporting me as a creator. This as a primary earning source is across the channels that submitted in our study accounted for 9% of channels. And these channels on average were making $725 with a range starting from $5 up to $12,000 a month. Holy cow, that's a lot of money. The interesting thing here to me about affiliate being the primary income source was the wide range of income. And what it seems is that channels that are themed toward uh, purchase intent or product focused channels seem to do far better than those channels that either weren't product focused or they didn't really push affiliate at all. I think that's why we see such a large range there. The next primary income source is sponsored video. So this is people responding saying that their primary income source on their channel was from sponsored videos. Now this section of responses accounts for only 5% of the earnings, however the Average earnings for sponsored videos was $1,684 per month, with a range of sponsorship revenue being from about $100 a month to $8,000 per month. The shocking thing to me here was how many of these channels were really not very large and they were still able to get sponsorships at all. And two that really stood out to me were actually members of our YouTube program, Project 24. One of them, for example, is only getting 504 views per month. In the entire month, only 504 views and still earning $100 per month in sponsored revenue. That's crazy. Yeah. Honestly, that's so wild. I mean, we mentioned it just briefly earlier, but like these people who have not even been monetized with ads yet are still making money on YouTube. That's so awesome. It's a big deal. Turns out they had a very niche audience. So they had a company reach out to them offering a monthly sponsorship, even though they only had 355 subscribers on their channel at least at the time of recording this. Yeah. The next primary earning source that we're gonna look at here are channels selling their own digital products. This might be something like an info product or a guide or some sort of book, that kind of thing. 
This data accounts for 7% of the total responses, with the average monthly earnings from this, just this one income source, being $1,850. Now, just a reminder, that is just this income source. In many of these cases, they were earning way more channel-wide since they were using multiple forms of monetization. But up until this point in this specific category, the average went from $70 on the low end up to $20,000 of monthly revenue on the high end. This space of selling your own digital projects happens to be one of our favorite spaces personally because it's so scalable and it tends to be a lot more simple than selling physical products. But the interesting thing here is that the highest performing channels in this category either A, already had a business or B, started thinking about their channel as a business. I was just thinking, I think this would be a great opportunity for you all to hit the like button. If this has been helpful at all thus far, I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Now this next category is just a little bit smaller at 5% of the responses that we got, and that's selling your own physical products. That being said, even though it was a smaller percentage of responses, the average earnings in this space was $2,178, with the income range in this category being anywhere from $55 up to $9,000 a month. Almost all of the channels in this category specifically already had a business outside of YouTube. In fact, one of the respondents even said that it was hard to track their data here because of the trickle through effect from the other parts of their business. This brings us to our next type of monetization which is YouTube memberships or like Patreon style of monetization. And this category is slightly higher at 9% of respondents with an average monthly revenue of $1,264. But there also was a really wide range in the earnings on the responses here. Anywhere from four US dollars all the way up to $12,264. But a lot of these respondents shared notes with us and based on what they were saying with this type of monetization, it takes a lot more work and upkeep to maintain. And that brings us to the next monetization type, which could, I guess, roughly be called the other monetization category. This is basically where we let people add in notes uh, just in case they had a monetization type that didn't quite fit into these other buckets that we previously put into the survey. Now this grouping accounted for about 9% of total responses with the average revenue being $2,525 with a range of $1 all the way up to $30,000 every single month. That being said, this category was a little bit unique because it included things like the wider umbrella of like software, uh, consulting, B2B sales, Sales, guided tours, and etc. So there was most likely other business aspects aside from just a YouTube channel. Now we are not done yet. No, we are not done. We are far from being done with this because just like we mentioned earlier, you are most likely leaving so much money on the table every single month and we're going to show you why. You see, when we were looking through the data set, we realized that there was a secret indicator that just the average monthly earnings may not be showing us. Now, the secret indicator that I just mentioned came from two data points within our data set. The first being the earnings from the income source divided by the total monthly views on the channel. I know that might not be any big secret from any YouTube ads perspective. I mean, we all know about CPM and RPM, right? But have you, yes, you watching this ever thought to think about your total earnings on your channel based on the amounts you're making from your channel in relation to the spread of your videos. This indicator is called earnings per milli, and no, we did not make that up because this whole concept we just outlined is already out there. And where before there were some clear standouts in terms of regular monthly earnings, this can be a real eye-opener. Okay, so again, going off the primary earning source for each channel, they responded the average EPM or earning per thousand views for their channels, which were primarily monetized by ads, YouTube ads, was $5.81. But things start to get a little bit crazy when it comes to the other types of income sources because the EPM for those are much, much higher. So let's take affiliate for example. For the channels that answered that affiliate earning was their primary income source, the EPMP for those people came out to $12.71, which is more than double what the advertising earning was or the advertising EPMP was for these same channels. And moving on to the sponsored video category, you remember me mentioning these people, get this, their average EPM is $35.61. That's crazy. Oh, but we're not done yet because in the next category, which is selling your own digital products, the EPM was $96.84 on average. So the EPM for these other categories aside from YouTube ads is literally four, 10 times what you're gonna make from YouTube ads. I think you see what we're getting at. If you're only relying on the YouTube partner program, you're missing out on so much revenue that you could be making from your channel. The data literally shows it right here. Yeah. 
I just want to cut in here really quick and just say thank you to all of those of you who participated in this study, who shared your data or have left uh, reviews or comments or notes or anything like that. It's so helpful. And honestly, for those of you watching, no one who shared the data had to share their data. It was really just to help all of us here who are trying to learn and become better with YouTube. So thank you to those of you who participated. Yeah, truly. You guys are the best. Thank you. Now a note on what to do with all the information we shared in this video. So typically we really recommend that you get some data on your audience and their needs and wants before you go in depth on monetization. And we used to recommend that you don't focus on monetization at all until you're in at least phase four or phase five of our YouTube system. But from getting data like this from you guys, we realized that's stupid yeah. because we can make so much money before we're even monetized on YouTube with the YouTube Partner Program. And with under 500 subscribers, you can make a decent chunk on your channel. So we don't recommend that anymore because we are always adjusting Project 24 based on what is currently working and the new things we are learning so that it's an amazing program for you. If you haven't checked it out, it's in the description. It's pretty awesome. Okay, a little secret for you. All right, it's not totally a secret. I mentioned this a little bit earlier in the video. We have created a whole different video based on these same numbers, but talking about those who have been making money on YouTube before they even hit a thousand subscribers. When you watch that video, you're going to see how you can take your channel from zero dollars up into hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars a month without being monetized with YouTube ads. That's my favorite video we've done like practically yeah. ever. So Pretty go awesome. watch it here. It's really great. See you guys.